Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city center, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Brazil up against Portugal. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson begins in goal. Thiago Silva plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Casemiro plays alongside Lucas Paqueta in central midfield. And the striker is the very creative and eye-catching Richarlison. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And it's an interesting looking attacking constellation with three forwards listed from the start. And now they get the ball rolling. Richarlison. Neymar. Body in the way. Let's see about the delivery. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Well, you might say history speaks for Brazil. On seven occasions, they've made it to the final before. They've recorded five victories. They're always going to fancy their chances. How do you view their prospects in this one, Stuart? Well, right at the start of the tournament, I asked the question, are they a great side or just a good side? If they win here today, I think we can call them a great side. They've been excellent all the way through the tournament. This should be a cracking game. Ruben Neves. Well, I think it's fair to say, Stuart, Neymar can do just about anything out there on the... Referee had to be mindful of what was going on, the injury situation, and hence... ...he has stopped play. Not a drop ball after the injury situation. Read it superbly to take back possession. Can he do it from miles out? And there it is! Living history! The opening goal of the 2022 World Cup Final. Incredible celebrations! 1-0 then. Did well to win the ball back. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Body on the line. Neymar.
Richarlison. Excellent defending. Bernardo Silva. Gonzalo Ramos. Felix applying vigorous pressure. Richarlison. And a strong tackle. Teammates available. Felix. Well, Brazil, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. Oh, they could finish here, Stuart. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now, and just look at these fans. The trophy coming their way, surely. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Nicely cut out. And Neymar! Pretty simple for the keeper. Joao Felix. Fernandes. He has time to play it over. Simple catch, really. Getting forward. So the whistle then, we're up the halfway. So back in business here, and no two ways about it. It was an eye-catching first half performance from Brazil. Are they capable of matching that in the second half? Takes aim. Oh, so close, but just unable to keep the shot down. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. And it's Gabriel Jesus being egged on by the crowd. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Not giving their opponents a moment's peace. Vinicius Jr. Well, he needed a bit more downward direction on the header. Cristiano Ronaldo. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Plenty of support here. But really sticking to the task defensively. And into the last 30 minutes now. Rafinha. Gabriel Jesus. A chance to whip it in. Read it well. Being pressed hard.
Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Denied by the bar. Back in play here. A goal! And it seems they're truly cruising to victory here. We'll just take another look at this because he reacts so well and he then keeps his composure. It's a good finish. And the action underway once more with Brazil very much on top. Bernardo Silva. Not a good pass. 20 minutes remaining. Marcinelli. Opportunity it is. He's got to miss that guilt-edged opportunity. Well, sometimes in these 1v1 scenarios, you have too much time to think about it. He should do better for me, though. And they will make the change now. Neymar wishes he had that passing opportunity back. Bruno Fernandes. The ball with Ottavio. And Bernardo Silva has it. Well, tremendous block. Rafinha. And support available. Oh, fancy footwork. Well, it's sat up for him, but not seriously troubling the goalkeeper. Vinicius Jr. The delivery. The header had just a bit too much height on it. Well, that was a good bit of play. The cross, the movement and the determination were excellent, but not the end product. Joao Cancelo. Otavio. Well, very effective play in possession. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. They've regained possession. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. No yellow card, instead a firm warning from the official. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Neves. On to Bruno Fernandes. Safe pair of hands, did his job. It's got to be a throw-in for Portugal here. And the referee brings this final to an end for the first time in 20 years. Brazil are world champions once more. Well, no surprise there, Derek. Brazil have been brilliant and they fully deserve this trophy. Brazil, the world champions. And this triumph, you just feel, Stuart, is going to be fondly remembered by all Brazilians. You're absolutely right. They've played some great football. They've been inspiring. There's been some great individual performances. It's been outstanding from them.